Hey, this is Mike Ellis here in the grass field. I found a nice good clump here, and I'm going to show you how to pull the sweet grass and how I pull the sweet grass so that you can get the whole entire area. This thing was passed down through generation through my family. So now I'm going to show you how I do the sweet grass and pull it. You can see the nice concave clumps of grass here, nice and long. So we take that grass and we're going to do the sweeping motion. I take a sweeping motion to get this nice long grass. Then I wrap it and I pull. I wrap it and I pull. And we go all the way around this thing. And I just want to get this entire area. Now, so look at it, nice long grass. Okay, if you continue doing this, you're doing, and this leave the little short ones and let that regrow as it comes through. I go all the way around, I get the entire clump, or some people call it the bed, and we just harvest it around, and I just pull, we pull the grass out of the chute. Kind of clean it out a little bit, and you can see the nice long clumps that we have here. So, we do the entire area, and as you can see, this entire area all in the wooded area is all grass. It looks like old trash and all of it. It's actually the sweet grass. And we'll do this the whole day. And by the time we have done this, what is going to happen is in three to four hours, we will have enough grass to make a nice sizable basket. Get it in pool. Get it in pool. Get it in pool. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Put it down like that. Some of the clumps I gotta pull three, four times because there's so much grass in there. It's just unbelievable. And by the time I finish this entire area, it'll be so clean, it'll take a while for the grass to go back. There's an old saying that my mom used to tell me, and I tell a lot of my friends, is uh, if you pull the grass correctly and get all the long grass out of it, if a goat ate sweet grass, he'd die because I wouldn't leave no grass. Nice and long. And that's how we want it.